Hi there, welcome here. Welcome in Next.js with Shopify integration and TypeScript course. My name is Philip. I am creator and instructor of this course. In this preview, I will show you on what features you will be working on, what are the requirements of the course and what is the structure of the course. So without any further waiting, let's take a look at what you will be working on. Okay, so first uh, let's take a look at the, at the preview. So here is the detailed page of the product. You'll be working on Next.js store. So you will be working everything in the Next.js framework. So you'll be coding in uh, React. You'll be using the React library and you will be integrating with the Shopify. Okay, so here is the home page. In the home page, we'll have a different, uh, different views. We have uh, some grids. You can see here is a grid of a type A. And here we have some hero, there is some product view, then we have a different grid here. It's displaying the items in a different order and uh, so on here. And on all of these guys, you'll be working from the scratch. On all these components, all the styling of the components will be working from the scratch. You will be learning how to, how to make them. Okay, later in the course, when you will be already have a basics of this knowledge, you will be copying some code because that to save the time, but this homepage will be working entirely with me, okay? So it will be from really from the scratch. Okay, so this is the homepage. We are displaying a product here, and when you will click on the products, uh, you will go to product detail page where we are displaying the detail about the product. We are displaying uh, also preview of the images of the product and its variants. Also product options, so and what size and the colors the product uh, can be, and also description of the of the product. Okay, so here we can choose the different combinations of the product. We can add a product into the cart. Uh, then we have here on the right side in the top menu, we have a cart icon and you can see I have already five items in the cart. So when I will click it, I'll click at this, you will see what items I have add, added previously. And I have here currently five items, four cool heads, combination of the M size and the white color and the large head with a combination of the large and the black color. I can freely increase and decrease the quantity and it will update my price. So I can decrease, for example, one and you can see the price will be updated at the real time. I can completely decide I don't want this product. I will remove it completely. When, and I can also decrease the quantity and when the quantity will reach zero, then it will be removed as well. Okay, so it'll decrease and you will see the quantity has been decreased. Okay, so that's the card view, and now we can freely add the products. Uh, when you will not select here any combination of the size and the color, our default product will be added into the card. So you can see when I will add to card, now the default one will be selected, which is a small size and the black color. And I can choose multiple products. Okay. Okay, and here I have a different product. Okay, so that's from a detailed view. We have, of course, different types of the views. We have here. Uh, for this product view and for uh, for every product we have a detailed view. Okay, and we, have, we can add this product to the cart and they will be added with their different price. Okay, so 115 to total and I, now I maybe I am, uh, yeah, I would, I would like to buy it, right? So when I want to buy it, I, will, I need to proceed to, to check out. And let's say I don't want so many products. Uh, let's say I just want to have a let's lightweight jacket. So I'll remove all of these ones, okay? And I will decide to go with the lightweight jacket. I'll proceed to the checkout. And after I, I will be navigated here. So I can go through this here or I can fast forward. These are very fast. So uh, here is a checkout view and I can freely order this product. So we'll be integrating also this on the Shopify platform. All right. Okay, so I will, I will very fast provide here my details. All right, and uh, then we'll order this product. I will see how this works. Okay, so continue. So this information, continue shipping. We'll confirm the data here that your shipping address is correct. Continue to payment. Uh, we have integrated a testing platform uh, called Bogus for a payment. So we can test it out without providing any credit, credit card details. So credit card number will be just the one and the name of the card will be Bogus and gateway, so that's for testing purposes. Expiration date is a some date in the future, security code three ones, so we can freely test out this functionality. Okay, and after that, payment will be done, will be confirmed, uh, you will receive the email on your email address, and the product will be on the way, it will display even, your, even the map and, uh, and the details. Okay, so yeah, 
uh, this is done here. So now our product, product is on the way. Let's see what will happen when I will go to my home page. When I'll go back to my page, you can maybe still see that we have here products, but as soon as I will click here on the product, this product will be invalidated and it will be removed from the cart so I can start adding new products I, want, uh, I, would, like to, I would like to buy. Okay, and here it is. So that's our entire, um, entire application. A part of this will have a, also local server in which we'll be testing uh, the features. So the uh, course is coming with this server, so you will get this server you can, you can download. It's explained in the lectures. And also we'll be integrating, integrating Shopify. So all of this here, what you can see is coming from the Shopify. So we have uh, the Shopify products. We have uh, created our store on the Shopify. We added products and the Shopify are fetched from the Shopify. But you will see all of this in the course. I don't want to show here everything which is not, uh, which is not necessary. Okay, so uh, then, uh, by the way, here are the lectures you will get. So every lecture is committed. So if you need help or if you, some code doesn't work as uh, is working in my code, you can just, just uh, get a code from here. So, okay, but all of this is explained later. That's a project you will be working on. You'll be deploying it also to Vera, so you can see it's online. It's not serving, I'm not serving it from a local platform, so everything is online and uh, available on internet. Okay, so that's a project. There is much, much more features covered in the course as you will discover through the lectures. There should be in total more than 200 lectures and many hours of content. And now let's take a look, okay? Now, let, now, let's, take a, now let's take a look what is the structure of the course. So first part of the course, we'll be talking mainly about the TypeScript. There is 40 lectures about the TypeScript. Of course, if you are already familiar with the types, TypeScript, you can freely skip them. So this will be just a TypeScript basic. What is a TypeScript, what types you can use, how you can create a generic types, custom types, and what types you have available. This will be for the lectures. Then some of the, the middle part of the course is a creation of our basically, of our homepage, creation of all of the components, creating basic structure of the application because the application should be integrated with many providers, not only with the Shopify, but for example, also e-commerce and so on. So we'll be creating this basic structure of the course and uh, basic structure of the application and we'll be creating different components. We'll be integrating our application with the Tilewind CSS. So you'll learn how to create a CSS Tilewind components and you'll be creating everything from, uh, from the scratch. So that will be the middle part, creating the basic structure of our application. The third part of application will be creating uh, various hook functions. We'll have a hook functions to add the items into the card, to delete the items from the card, to keep the track of our card, and everything, everything here, this, everything from this will be implemented as the hook function. So we'll be creating hooks and also different custom types for the hooks. I can show you a preview of one of these hooks I am talking about. Okay, here is a project, and here is will be some of the hooks will be implementing. So Shopify folder, card, and use at item, for example. So here is the entire hook function, which is integrated through multiple levels, and or for example, use update item. Maybe that's a big, that's even better. Okay, so we will have a hooks, which will be defined as a handlers. They will have a fetchers methods, which will be for fetching data, then updating data with the use hook functions. And everything is explained in the lecture. It will be quite complicated structure. We'll go slowly. The lectures are not very long. I'm trying to keep them under 10 minutes, but sometimes they can be longer. So that will be the structure of this course. Of course, there are multiple small levels. I'm also explaining some off-topics like a flex styling, and also the other parts, but that's, as I said before, you will discover it in the course. So what is course is targeting? What's the, tar what, what's, what's the target audience for this course? It's a uh, beginner developers or the developer that want to start with uh, Next.js and they want to learn how to integrate with the Shopify framework. If you want to start a course, you should have at least the basic knowledge of the programming and you should have a basic knowledge of the React uh, JS library. There is no necessary knowledge of the CSS because I will be explaining CSS in the from the scratch. Uh, but it would be good if you were if you would have a basic, just a really really basic knowledge of this stuff. Okay, guys, I don't want to waste your time here anymore. So you can decide if you want to take the course. I'll be happy to see you around, and uh, that's gonna be it from uh, from this uh, from this preview. I wish you good luck and uh, see you in the lectures. Cheers.